Hi, good afternoon and a happy holiday to everyone. As uh, we all know, we are in the days of Hanukkah. We are getting to be close the, the end of the days of Hanukkah. And this will bring us in uh, to the upcoming Shabbos, uh, this upcoming Parsha, Parsha Be'igash. So we always try to find a connection between uh, the days of the week and the upcoming Shabbat. So when we're talking about Hanukkah, so Hanukkah also has to have some kind of connection to this Shabbat that we're going to go in this week, Parshat Vayigash. In short and brief, the idea of Hanukkah, as we know, this is the great miracle of um, the oil that we spoke about many times. <clears throat> and all this was caused by the story of the Hashmonaim, the story of the Maccabim, the story of Matatiao Kohen Gadol with his children, his sons, as we all know the story. But what was the key of that whole story? That Matasyahu and his sons, they were fighting a battle, as we saying in the prayer, the days of Hanukkah, even though they were the minority, very, very small minority, in front of so many people, with such a strong army, etc., etc. And even though they knew that in the natural way, there's no way that they're going to win the war, but they still went and fought the war. And this is where Shem came in, as we say at the prayer, Rafta et Riva, you fought the battle, and God made a big miracle. And this is where we have Hanukkah. So the symbol of this holiday of Hanukkah is to see a group of Jews that in order to fight for God, in order to fight for the people, in order to fight for the Jewish nation. They're ready to risk their lives. They're ready to go a complete Mesirut Nefesh for them, for the Am Israel and for God. And by going on this Mesirut Nefesh, the Jews taken that step of being ready to risk their life for others. This is how we have this great day, the great day of Hanukkah. And this is, as we always speak about Hanukkah, there's the famous lesson that we learn from Hanukkah, a holiday of Jews that they did not look for their own life. They don't look for, all, for their own being. They were looking about what they can do for God, what can they do for the people. And even though doing for someone else, they may have to give up their own life and their own freedom but they didn't care they just knew one thing we got to do it and this message is being given to us and this message is also related to the, this upcoming Parsha I have that famous story that I read my, for myself I shared it a few times and it always stays in my mind about this famous Hasid in Russia in the hard times there, under the times of Stalin, under the times where a Jew that stays connected to Hashem would be hard for him to survive. And we see over there so many stories, but I have one to share, of Jews the way they live their life, ready to give the life away, to risk the life for the sake of God, for the sake of another Jew. And sure, that story was about this Hasid. <coughs> Sorry. This Hasid, he was called to a court case, as he used to be in those days in Russia, that would make a group judgment, that would get 20 people, and they would judge him all together. And this Hasid was one of the 20 people that they were judged together. And when a judgment came out, the verdict was that one Jew, he was unfortunately sentenced to, do, to go be an opposite of life. Some of them were sentenced 
for 10 years in Siberia, and some of them were sentenced for s seven years in Siberia. He, this Hasid, was one of the Hasidim that was sentenced to go seven years in Siberia. When this verdict came out, this Hasid was so hurt about this particular Jew. He had no idea who that Jew was, but at one Jew that he was, his verdict was to be sentenced to death. In order to try to help the Jew, what he said, that he's questioning that verdict. That was the rule those days. You could have questioned the verdict, and then they would redo it, and a second chance the next time. So he questioned that verdict, and they redid it again. But when they read it a second time, that Jew that was sentenced to death, it was changed from death to 10 years in Siberia. But this particular Hasid was also changed, his verdict, from seven years Siberia to 10 years Siberia. The difference in those days from seven years or 10 years, if you only get seven years, after a third of your term, it could be rejudged and you'll go free. But if you judge for 10 years Siberia, you have to sit there the full term. His wife was talking to him right before going to Siberia, and she asked him, what did you do? You would be able to come back about two and a half years later. Now, because you questioned your term, <coughs> you're going to have to sit 10 full years. Why did you do that? So he says, but there was another Jew that he would be killed, and I would tr I try to save him. But his wife tells him, but he don't even know that other Jew. He don't know, he don't know who that person is. But he answered to her, that was a famous, famous thing that he told her, that really strikes me and strikes many people when they hear that story. That Jew, I don't know who he is, but he must also have a wife and kids, like I have a wife and kids. If that Jew would be killed, he would not be able to come back to his wife and kids. Now, when we change the verdict, yes, I have to sit 10 years, but that you and me are going to be able to come eventually home after 10 years. And as we know that the story it happened, they're both sitting for 10 full years and it came home. And that story teaches us and shows us, me and others, and you, the listener, what does it mean a Jew that is ready to risk his life, or give up his life for someone else? And this is the theme of Am Israel. And this is a theme of Hanukkah. And this is how it's related also to this week's Parsha. At the beginning of this week's Parsha, we're learning about Yehuda having the conversation with Yosef. And when Yehuda is having the conversation with Yosef, as we know the story, this week's Parsha is regarding the brother Benjamin that Yehuda is pleading for him to bring him back to his father. And the conversation was going in a way that Yehuda was risking his own life. And he was saying very harsh words. And he was putting his life in danger just to bring his brother home. And as we know the story, when Yosef saw Yehuda, the way he was talking, the way he's ready to risk his life for his brother, at that moment Yosef broke himself, he melted, and he discovered to them, I am your brother. And this is how the story ends of this week's Parsha. What was the end of the story? That Yosef and her brothers got together and from the misery it turned to be the unity of the family. When Yehuda showed the way he is ready to give himself completely away for his own brother. The way a Jew is ready to give completely away, his life away for another Jew. This should be the role model of us. This should be the role model. This should be the lesson of Hanukkah, the lesson of this Parsha. What Jews are all about. We live a life, but our life is that we're ready to give our life away for God. We're ready to give our life away to help another Jew. Have yourself the rest of Hanukkah, beautiful holiday. And have yourself all a good Shabbos. And hopefully, hopefully, we should succeed in our mission and bring Mashiach before this coming Shabbos.